Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, Kat, it's beautiful hey, outside. Oh, my a beautiful goodness. Easter yeah. weekend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My goodness. It's officially spring. My allergies can attest to that, but it's oh, so yeah. gorgeous outside. Oh, I noticed gosh. it yesterday, <laughs> but it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, goodness. what's going like, on here? Oh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm just bowing to the pollen gods, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> spring know. is in the air. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. No, it was beautiful. Um, you know, I went over to my mom's house for Easter, got roped into a little bit of Easter yard work. And then, oh, there you go. But then I was compensated with Easter dinner, so I'll, I'll take it. You know? Oh, that'll work every time. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Yep, nice quiet afternoon there. And uh, yeah, no little ones that are in our household at the moment, so no egg hunts or like, right. you know, candy and sanity to be seen or heard of, but I'm sure it might have been different at your place with Junior yeah, running around. Oh, yeah, we had a bunch of kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. we had about four kids. Four, it was a bunch, but like four kids, yeah, that mm-hmm. uh, did the Easter baskets and did all kinds of fun stuff. They, We mm-hmm. did the whole nine yards this weekend, then had the Easter egg hunt and everything yeah. again. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. did it right. Yeah, everybody was having a good time on Plenty that. Plenty of sugar to go around. Yeah. Now, did mm-hmm. Jason go up? He did the play this week. Yes, yeah, that's yes. Weird... they had some performances for Tombstone last week. They took Sunday off because of Easter, but they're right. going for another weekend, so we'll get some information about that going down the pipeline pretty soon in this show. But, yeah. yep, one weekend left to see that Western, so... It was good to get Junior back to school this morning. <laughs> but did you feel good about getting Junior back? I mean, the week was cool, yeah. but it's like, mm-hmm. okay, he's back again. Yeah, now I can get some stuff done. You yeah, know, it's I, like, yeah, it's great. You know, well, I mean, because it's, it's easy. It's it was. <laughs> we had off and on weather and everything like that, so it was really hard to do anything. You know, it, yeah. It, should it be indoors? Should it be outdoors? Well, this minute we can be indoors. That mm-hmm. minute we got to be out. You know, we can be outdoors. Oh, okay, right. it was just wild, but this weekend was ah, nice. We need some of this going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm getting some work done around the. Uh, the art department manage and everything like that. Vitamin yeah, D. Yeah. Get We're getting all tan for summer. Yeah, mm-hmm. get all ready. The events will be coming up next. Jeez, I just realized on the May issue of the Insider, I'll be putting that out there. All the events that were starting in June with the Bodacious Bazaar. So yes. very cool. Very cool. Busy summer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So glad. Hope everybody had a safe and good Easter weekend out there. And yep. And now the kids are back, and I bet a bunch of you are saying, "Yeah, that's a good thing." <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so everybody got out and had some fun and did some stuff, and then we got more stuff to talk to you about here. First, I'm going to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler at Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows out there on KCIW 100.7 FM, all you got to do is go to KCIW.org and you will be on your merry way. And, uh, hey, uh, speaking of being on his merry way, we got Mr. Bill Gersky, the guru at Beacon Broadband here in the house, going to be giving us the internet report. What is going on out there? How you doing, Bill? Good, Bruce. How you doing? I, it's always good to see you and Kat come down here and share what's going on in the internet world right after the fishing report. We're pretty excited to be on this show and uh, share what's going on in the great news of the internet world to the South Coast. Did you and Denise have a good uh, Easter weekend? There? We did. We went off the grid. We went out oh. way out the uh, Chetco River Road, uh, the north side, and went all the way out. We have some friends got a house out there and did a barbecue, and, and man, these people live pretty nice off the grid. They got they got a lot of uh, solar, and they've got TV, and they got direct TV, and they got oh. internet out there, and they got... They're living a pretty good life right on the river. It's oh, pretty nice out there. Yeah, I know a lot of people live off the grid out here. They all live in, they live in just fine. Yeah, <laughs> they it, got all it, the comfort. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Thanks for asking. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool. Okay, so we got you on here for the Internet Report. I got a few questions for you. So, how do I know how much bandwidth I need? Because you let our listeners in, in on that secret of how much bandwidth. Sure. When you're looking at your computer, going, what, what, you know? Yeah, it's a great question. Yeah. What, what you ought to do is that when you look at the internet, consider it a highway. And when you drive slow, you're on the right-hand lane and you're kind of going slow. But if you want to speed it up, you can go to the middle lane. Or if you want to go full speed, you go to the high-speed lane. Right. That's the same as internet. So what we look at is when your listeners and our customers, they say, well, I don't have any idea how much bandwidth I need. Well, that's one way to look at it as a highway. But the other question is, when we sit down, we really want to talk to people. And we ask them, come in our office or talk to our customer service people on the uh, on the phone. 
the question really comes down to, you know, how many users, internet users are in the household, Bruce? How many people are actually going to be using it? That's question number one. Question number two is, how many devices are in the house? How many computers and tablets, smart devices? Do you have gaming consoles? Or do you have a ring doorbell? Do you have an Alexa? Do, how many TVs are you streaming? That all adds up to how much bandwidth you're going to need, and we can share that information with you. So what we do is we sit down with you and say, okay, you got three or four people in the household. You're streaming three or four television sets. You got three or four TV. All these kind of good things are happening. We can tell you if you need our 500 meg package, which is 500 up and down. It's symmetrical, so you get the same speed up and down. The uh, upload speed anymore, Bruce, is just as important as a download. If you're if you're doing Zoom calls or doing anything else that you need a higher speed, that's symmetrical upload and download speed. So what we ask people to do is talk to our customer service people, talk to our salespeople, come in the office, we'll share it with you, we'll sit down with you, we'll explain the bandwidth, we'll tell you how much speed we recommend, and being part of Coos Curry Electric, we're never going to oversell you. We're going to put you in the right package. Right on. Very cool, very cool. And now you guys, you're always doing something new, and now you got a, a connected senior program going on here. What is that all about? This is so exciting, Bruce. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, they're always excited. I, mean, <laughs> I know. We're, we're uh, launching Gold Beach in about three weeks, mm -hmm. and what we've done is I've gone up, and I've, I was doing a presentation for the Seroptimus Club of Gold Beach, and these are women helping girls and helping each other in businesses. And when I did the presentation, I explained to him that I did this program called the Senior to Senior Connected Senior Program in Pennsylvania, and I won first place with the Federal Communications Commission for the best program put out there during COVID to help senior citizens. So what I've done is put together an advisory panel of the of people in Gold Beach that I felt would really contribute to the Connected Senior Program, and that's Umqua Bank, Rogue Bank. Go Beach High School, Go Beach Public Library. Uh, I've got uh, Anthony Pagano, the city administrator, Coos Curry Electric Cooperative, Curry General Hospital, the CEO. And what we did is create an advisory committee. And in September, we're going to have 10 high school seniors teaching 10 senior citizens a six-week course, one and a half hours per week on how to use a computer from the beginning to the end. Thus, the Connected Senior Program. Very we're very cool. proud of it. It's seniors helping seniors, and we think it's going to be <laughs> like big, that. and we're going to bring it back here next year to Brookings and then up to Port Orford. So the Connected Senior is seniors helping seniors. Right. Anybody that would like to learn more about it, have them contact Bill Gursky at Beacon Robin, and I'll tell them more about it, Bruce. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, getting this, this high school is involved in it. That's mm -hmm. very cool. Very cool. Okay, so how important is it to be a subsidiary of Coos Curry Electric and maintain a local presence with Beacon? Well, those are very two quick, easy questions, Bruce. First of all, Coos Curry Electric has been here in Curry and Coos County for 85 years. Right. That is nothing but trust and integrity. When your power goes out, you pretty much can wait for a few minutes, maybe a couple hours at the most, but it's coming back on. So that integrity and trust is what... They are our senior uh, partner in this. They, we are a subsidiary of Coos Curry Electric Cooperative. That's number one. So the whole part about the electricity thing is we're going to help them too. We're going to hook up all the substations. We're going to be able to identify potential outages for the electric by hooking up our fiber to the electricity, and we're going to make it a smart grid by using the fiber on that. So the Coos Curry Electric um, Board of Directors and the CEO of Coos Curry and Beacon Broadband made this decision a couple of years ago, Bruce, to bring high-speed fiber broadband. I think that's so important what it's going to do for Coos and Curry County. Now, the local office, think about this. We're the only local office in Coos and Curry County internet provider that has a local office. We're right down the street here on the 101 past McKay's. We're in the old Rogue uh, Credit Union building. They can stop in and talk to us anytime they want. And the other big important thing to remember, Bruce, is all the money that's spent for internet, all the jobs that are created, the buildings, everything that has to do with internet for here, that money and that stuff is staying local. It's not leaving our communities. And it's so important. And for you hire that, local employees. Everybody's local. Everybody's yeah, local. Yeah, Everybody we hire is local. So the yeah. money that they earn and make, the money we spend to build all this internet, all the infrastructure that we're doing, 
that money stays here in Coos and Curry County, and we're very proud of that. So if people like to deal with a local company, like to come down and talk to us in our office, we're more than happy to sit down with you, chat with you, and talk to you. We're part of Coos Curry Electric. You can trust us. We've been here for 85 years, and we're not going anywhere. And I, I think it's important for everybody to know that how local, being local is so important. Absolutely. Very cool. Well, thank you, Bill. Thanks for coming on with the Internet Report. It's yeah, great to be a part stuff. of it. Tell them to contact us if they want. They can go to www.beaconbroadband.com, find out everything they need to know. I really appreciate Kat and Bruce for bringing us on. We love the internet report. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thanks Very for good. bringing it to I us. I heard it from the man, so there you go. Yeah, it's always good to have Bill on here giving us the internet report. Yeah, it's like so pretty good. interesting. Yeah. Think as they're moving along, you oh, know, yeah, yeah, been here over a year now and everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to tell him I go that eighty-five years has now turned into eighty-six years. It's kinda, yeah, yeah. We'll just <laughs> it's like yeah, getting man. more and more uh, established <laughs> as, as the march worse. of time wears on. <laughs> That's right. All right, well, let's get these people some uh, information on what the heck is going on around here. Let's start yeah. with a music schedule. All right, we're going to start things off with P.A. and T. Roy. They're playing on the 5th of April at the Brookings Elks Lodge, going from 7 to 9. On the 12th, they're going to be at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. On the 18th, Sea View Senior Living from 4.30 to 6. And then on the 19th, they're going to be at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. Yeah, that's cool. Sea View is starting to do music again. I like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, and Cisco and Daltrey on the 18th, they'll be at the Grange at Harbor, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And on the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th, you find them at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. All right, and those are Saturdays. All right. And then looking at the schedule for Mike Powell on the 12th and the 13th, he's going to be playing at the Elk Valley Casino from 6.30 to 9.30. And then on the 19th, he's going to be at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. He is. And then we got Bloodline Band on the 27th. They'll be at Oxen Free at 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then some dates here for the Italian guys on the 11th, 12th, and 18th. They're going to be playing at Kuntai. Music there running from 6 to 8. Yep. And Long Goddard on the 3rd and the 17th, they'll be at Kuntai, 6 to 8. On the 13th, he'll be at the Second Saturday Art Walk, Democratic Headquarters from 3 to 6. And then on the 26th and 27th, you can find Lown at the Elk Valley Casino from 7 to 10. All right, and we have a lineup here from Tortuga Mexican Restaurant in Gold Beach. Music there starts at 6 o'clock. On the 5th, it's Jeevan Herzog. On the 6th, Long Goddard. On the 12th, Black GTO. On the 13th, Becca McAlvage. On the 19th, Cosmic Aussie. On the 20th, Long Goddard again. On the 26th, Black GTO. And on the 27th, the ghost of Brian Craig. Yeah, and then Elk Valley Casino and the Brady Green Center. The doors open at 7 for those concerts. 13th, they got country music artist Chad Bushnell at 8. On the 20th, they got Comedy Night with DJ Sandu featuring Joss Means at 8. And then on the 26th, we got Jeff Tate at 8 p.m. Then in the Warriors Bar and Grill, music starts at 7. On the 5th and 6th, they got Gabriel Casas. On the 12th and 13th, Mike Powell. On the 19th and 20th, Steve Berg. And on the 26th and 27th, we got Lon Goddard. All right. And then some music coming up at Inateca in Crescent City. Music there starting at 8 p.m. On the 5th, it's Snickle Fritz. On the 12th, it's Black GTO. On the 13th, they're having a comedy night going from 7 to 9. On the 19th, the Spence Brothers Blues Band is playing at 8 p.m. On the 20th, Shiny Eyes. And then on the 27th, AMS. Yep. Yeah, that shiny eyes is pretty cool. There's a DJ and there's puppets going on. There. It's what? It's in my paper. It's a little bit of a show there. Oh, that's going exciting. On. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. so fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Black GTO on the 12th. They'll be at the Interteca, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then on the 26th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's the music. And if you were out there and you hearing me talking or you know somebody's got a band and you didn't hear their name on here or they're a musician and they play, Give me their information, Captain Curry 541 at gmail.com, and we can get it on the show. We can get it in the paper. We can have all kinds of fun with it. So there you go. But if they don't get it to me and I don't see it anywhere, then I won't be able to get it. Uh -huh. So that's how that rolls. If you see a band, say something about a band. Yeah, right, say, by the way. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a look at some events happening in April at the Checo Community Public Library. That's here in Brookings. And weekly events on Mondays at 5.30 p.m., they're having Pilates in Espanol with Amanda. This is a Pilates class for Spanish speakers. Then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they have story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. At 1.30 p.m., they have their chair yoga class. And at 4 o'clock on Tuesdays, 
They're having a free tobacco cessation workshop led by All Care, and this weekly workshop is going to run through the 14th of May. On Thursdays at 2.45, they have a chair yoga class again. On Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento, that's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And for some monthly and special events coming up here at the library, all month long, you can enter their poetry book crafting competition. Starting April 1st, you can stop by the library's makerspace and use the kits and crafting supplies at hand to create a simple folded book of poetry. You can take your book home to enjoy it, or you can enter it in our competition for the best handcrafted poetry book. You're also welcome to take your kit home and work on it there and bring it back to enter the contest. But all entries must be received by April 29th at 7 p.m. And then a panel of judges are going to pick winners in the following categories on April 30th. Best Artistry, Best Poetry, the Best Youth Book for entries for people under 18, the Best Adult Book for all folks that are over 18, and Best in Show. Winners in each category are going to receive a ribbon and a magnetic poetry kit. All entered poetry books will be on display at the library through the end of May. And then on the 4th of April at 4.30, they're having an after-school crafting workshop. Middle grade kids and teens are invited to a free workshop. And in that workshop, they're going to make a three-dimensional mythical beast. And then on the 9th of April at 5.30 p.m., they're having regular game nights happening at Checo Brewing Co., this is an all-ages open game night featuring games from the Checo Library's board game collection, and it's hosted at Checo Brewing Co. on Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library, or you can bring along one of your favorites to share. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in your community throughout the year. Game nights happen every second and fourth Tuesday of each month. And if you have any questions about programs or services offered at the Checo Library, you can always give them a call at 541 469 7738. You can visit them at 405 Alder Street, or you can find their full events calendar online at checkolibrary.org. Hey, Jeff the Jeweler, located at 15957 Highway 101 in Harbor, presents Estate Jewelry Event featuring the Madison Estate Collection. <laughs> it's happening on the 5th and the 6th of April, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, Madison Estate Collection is select from a collection of jewelry including Georgian, Victorian, Edwardian, Art Deco, Retro, and Cocktail Periods. That one throws me off, but that's cool. Plus Contemporary Treasures, Exotic, and Sign Pieces. Yeah, Cocktail Pieces. You know, where are they doing cocktails? Well, of are? course, now I'm going to be looking that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no See what that's all about. Yeah. So, uh, the Rogue Playhouse and Ellensburg Theater Company, located at 94196 Westmore Street in Gold Beach, is presenting One More Weekend of Tombstone. This is directed by Mr. Michael Hall up there. The final dates for this show are on the 5th, 6th, and 7th. It's a Friday and Saturday show at 7.30 p.m., a Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. And the year is sometime in the late 1880s, and Wyatt Earp and his brothers Virgil and Morgan are living and working as lawmen in Tombstone, Arizona. Wyatt is also part owner of the Oriental Saloon. At the time of this story, Wyatt is living with Maddie Blaylock while seeing a young lady of ill repute named Josie on the side. There's building resentment on the part of ex-sheriff Johnny B. and whose job and girl Wyatt has relieved him of. The Glantons and McLowrys are no big fan of Wyatt either for reasons that, well, you'll discover. Once Doc Holliday shows up, pursued closely by Big Nose Kate, well, things begin to escalate. They advise that you make reservations if you want to see this show. You can do that by calling 541-247-4382. Tickets are $15 and they are available at Gold Beach Books and Jerry's Rogue Jets gift shop and, of course, at the door. Yes, indeedy. There we go. One more weekend for One more weekend. Stone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's having a good time doing that, isn't he? Yeah, Jason. Yeah. He kind of loves the mustache. Uh, I I, I say, yeah. <laughs> hey, you can leave that at the studio. Uh, yeah. You can leave that at the theater. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that's fine with me. You know, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's I know he cool, looks pretty cool, good. Cool. At it. I'm, I'm so glad he's enjoying it. But get that old handlebar yeah, going. Yeah. He can leave the handlebars at the, uh, <laughs> at the dressing room. <laughs> Hey, the event center on the beach in Gold Beach is presenting the Spring Bazaar. This is happening on the 5th and 6th. The public is invited to join them at the annual Spring Bazaar. Come visit the vendors and find something special. For more info, go to the event center on the beach.com slash spring bazaar. All right. Now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. This is April, so we get quotes from Leonardo da Vinci. He was born on April 15th, 1452. So painting is poetry that is seen rather than felt, and poetry is painting that is felt rather than seen. 
I love that. Mm-hmm. Uh, steady with a desire spoils the memory and it retains nothing that it takes in. He says, one can have no smaller or greater mastery than mastery of one's self. And last but not least, the greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Leonardo da Vinci with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Yeah, that's cool. I saw that. And... I love that. I love that first quote about painting and poetry. It's yes. Like, how apropos for National Poetry Month. Very, very nice. I know. It worked out just right. Mm-hmm. Didn't even do it. And, you know, as a poet, I can see that concept. I do, you know, because I can't draw for nothing. <laughs> Artistic. Oh, I, I have know. no art artwork at all, whatever, but I can write. I yeah. <laughs> I, I think we're in the same boat there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I can write me some poems. Yeah, poetry and stuff Writers like unite. that. <laughs> yeah. But boy, don't ask me to do a picture of the poem that I just wrote. Oh, I know, right? Don't make me draw a picture for you. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? I just signed up for this one. There is a Run yes. in the Redwoods 5K Walk and Fun Run happening. This is going to be on the 6th of April. That's a Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., Get ready to lace up your sneakers and join them for a thrilling run in the Redwoods. Now, the T-shirts are currently out of stock on this one. So right now, if you want to register, it's $25 a person. And Uh, virtual options are available for those who just want to support the state parks from afar. Kids 12 and under run for free. And you're invited for this thrilling adventure in the heart of the majestic Redwood Forest at Run in the Redwoods. And get ready to conquer the scenic trails, whether you're an experienced runner or just looking for a fun challenge, this event is perfect for everyone. You can soak in the beauty of nature as you dash the towering redwoods at Prairie Creek State Park. Run in the Redwoods registration begins at 7.30 a.m. on Saturday, April 6th. That's at Prairie Creek Visitor Center. That's between Klamath and Oric. The fun race will start at 9 a.m. Please dress appropriately. Bring extra gear if the weather turns bad. And they do have a note for anyone coming from Klamath, exit 765 Crescent City for North Newton B. Drury Parkway will be closed for the event. So bear that in mind if traffic's coming from Klamath. And they will have a run celebration following the race from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's going to include music, vendors, and more. And, of course, that celebration is going to happen if weather's permitting. But, you know, dress appropriately. (laughs) <laughs> cool. Yeah, I gave you that one on a reason. I didn't know you actually joined it. Now you, I just, and you knew yeah, about yeah, the yeah. T-shirts. That's very good. Like cool. Signed up, signing up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I would have told everybody forty a person, and you was like, nope. But, so I'm signing <laughs> up. I'm like, out. well, I can't get a T-shirt. Nobody else can either. Okay. <laughs> you bummer. But yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hey, Curry County Chamber of Commerce uh, having a chamber mixture at Albella Spa and Tanning, located at nine seven nine hundred Shopping Center Avenue in Harbor. This is happening on the 6th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Elevate your network and experience by mingling with fellow business owners and forge valuable connections while exploring the state-of-art amenities. Enjoy an afternoon of exploration and meaningful connections at Abella Tanning Spa. Your path to tranquility and professional synergy awaits. Mm-hmm. I love that part. They were, that was really cool. <laughs> there. All right. And then SWAC is having an event called Odd Creatures in Our Tide Pools. This is happening on the 11th of April from noon to 1 p.m. Bill Gorham, a marine biologist who's lived and dived around the world from Alaska and Australia to Hawaii and the Virgin Islands, retired to Brookings with his wife Vicki in 2017. Bill's passion for the ocean started as a kid in Illinois. In this talk, he'll share stories and images from decades of diving, teaching, beachcombing, and tide pooling. Discover what you can find when you slow down and look closely at the things on the beach, whether they live in or on it, Traverse through it or simply get washed up. Explore the weird animals and plants, both common and hidden, that find unique ways to make the intertidal area home. Bill wants to motivate the audience to take care of the ocean and all of its resources, whether from discarded trash, overfishing, marine heat waves, or acidification. And he'll provide some words of wisdom for safe beach combing or tide pooling by reminding you, of course, about slippery rocks, rogue waves, mean crabs, spiny fish, and other surprises. (laughs) This is a free program sponsored by the Friends of Curry Campus. It will be held in the community room on Southwestern's Curry Campus at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway. That's just off Highway 101 in Brookings. They say bring a friend and a brown bag lunch. For more information, you can contact the Curry Campus at 541-813-1667. And hey, now it's time for a bit of Weird History with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, Kat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here. Welcome to this week's Bit of Weird History for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that a sword duel between two French soldiers went on for 20 years? 
It's true. Well, here's the story. In 1794 at Strasbourg, the French hussar François Fournier challenged a young man to duel and he killed him. When his fellow officer Pierre Dupont denied him interest to a ball on the eve of the funeral, the fiery Fournier challenged him to a duel. Well, the two fought with swords and Fournier was wounded. But when he had recovered, he challenged Dupont to a second duel and wounded him. In the third meeting, each inflicted a slight wound on each other. Finally, the two agreed to a private war that would continue until one of them confessed that he was beaten or satisfied. They even drew up a contract. Every time that Dupont and Fournier shall be a hundred miles from each other, they will approach from a distance to meet sword in hand. Well, should one of the contacting parties be prevented by service duties, he who is free must travel the entire distance so as to reconcile the obligations of the service with the demands of the present treaty. And there was no excuse whatsoever excepting whose resulting from the military obligations will be admitted. So the present being a bona fide treaty, no altercation can be made to the conditions agreed upon by the contracting parties. These guys took this to a whole new level. So over the ensuing 19 years, the two fought at least 30 duels, each eventually rising to the rank of general. Well, finally, after a particularly savage meeting in Switzerland in 1813, in which Dupont ran his sword through Fournier's neck, Dupont explained that he would be married soon and wanted to conclude the matter with a pistol duel in the nearby wood. Well, Dupont was clever and hung his jacket up in a bush, and he tricked his opponent into firing at the empty clothing. Well, then he advanced on him with pistols primed and claimed his victory as Fournier finally admitted to defeat, thus finally ending the duel. Hope you enjoyed this week's Bitter Read History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. And you can leave that 30 year with a contract, even, you know, like, hey, you know, hey, man, I, I just, I got to be at this, you know. <laughs> Sounds funny. I got to be ne- by the president or something, you know. That's I, pretty uh, funny. Crazy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> man. 20 year duel. You know, I saw uh, that on, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw that on one of them shows. Yeah, there's uh, a the grudge mysteries. and then there's a grudge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there's like stupidity. Yeah, that's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, it's time to close out this week's show. We got the flying fickle finger of fate. But before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all t- for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report at KCIW.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. And keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out there. Bam! <laughs> Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.